Hello everybody. In this very brief HTML5 lesson, we're going to discuss the required attribute that you can place in the input tag for your forms. So here's the finished product of what it renders. See, if I try to submit this form without filling in my username, it pops up a little tip that says this is a required field and you'll notice that the form did not submit. The form will not submit and it will not process unless that field is filled in. Okay, so here's a very simple example of an HTML5 document. It's the all the regular stuff we're all used to from HTML4. It's an input type text with a name you name and the ID is you name. And here we have a submit button with type submit. And you can see we wrapped our form elements in the form tag this time. Just to show you how it won't submit the form. Alright, so right here in the input that you want to be required, whatever fields, you just put in required. And that's it. Press Control S, then you file, preview in browser, and check it in Opera because Opera seems to render it real nice. The other browsers might not yet. So if I press submit, there it is. And you can see it didn't process the form. Now, let's run it without that. Control S, file, preview in browser, Opera. I'm going to press submit. And you see this? It submit the form. U name equals nothing. Let me type something in and submit it uname equals da 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 da. So if we have our required attribute set there, and this is a boolean by the way, it's a true or false. So once you place that word right there basically, you're setting the boolean to true for that input field to make it required. Now let's file, preview in browser, opera, and now if I press submit, I get that thing, and submit, and it doesn't submit the form, that's nice, and then if I type in, it will submit the form and send my variable of uname with the value that I typed in.